In lesson four one, the example, aren't we due for a boy? What we'll be looking at is how we should beware of the law of averages and how it's used in everyday life. A husband and wife decide to have children until they have at least one child of each gender. The couples had seven girls in a row. Their doctor assured them that they were much more likely to have a boy for their next child after all of those girls. Explain why the doctor is wrong. If you remember from the reading, we define probability to be what happens in the long run. And in this case, although seven girls may seem like a lot for this couple, that's not what we use to define as the long run. The long run needs to be tens of thousands of trials, not just seven or eight. So this doctor is incorrect. And what um, he should be saying is that they're just as likely to have a girl or a boy for their next child since the probability of having a girl or having a boy is still one half. If you'd like more practice with this, you can try exercise five at the end of this section.